While scores of people were killed directly in the Lahaina tragedy two weeks ago, the deadliest U.S. wildfire in over a century may still claim more casualties. Local resident Kylie Adolfo is helping in recovery efforts in the scorched area, but takes care to use protective gear while doing so. Being down in the red zone, it, um, it just has a burning feeling in the chest, burning feeling here in my, my throat and uh, I definitely need to use a respirator. Um, it, it protects you from dust, fine particles, but not the toxic air. And I, I've been here uh, two weeks now. Lahaina's downtown is now off limits to everyone except search teams and residents. Here in the Lahaina red zone, where my feet sink into the ashes left following this wildfire, the air is difficult to breathe. Indeed, the toxicity of this area is now going to present problems for Hawaii for years to come. Tamara Paltin is a Maui County Council member and says the health impacts are already being seen. I fully believe that it's toxic, you know, the arsenic, the asbestos, the lead, close to the burn zone. We've heard from volunteers having adverse effects. One lady um, I had heard was coughing up blood after being there a number of days. However, the danger hasn't stopped Hawaiians from putting health risks aside to help. As the fire was raging, Kekoa Lansford did not flee, but instead returned to the zone multiple times to pull others to safety. He's struggled since. I didn't recognize it at the time because of the adrenaline, I think, but my heart was racing and I couldn't, couldn't really catch my breath. I couldn't breathe very good. And I, for the few days afterwards, I just kept coughing up a bunch of like black stuff and nasty stuff. Come back and count 20 years later, 10 years later, and you'll see how many Native people are sick. Despite the trauma his body went through, Kakoa says he'd do it again in an instant. Such, he says, is the true meaning of aloha. Aloha, it's a deep-rooted concept in the Native Hawaiian culture. It means love, you really love something. You help it thrive, you know, you help it live, you help it be happy. I did what I had to do. I didn't want to, I had to, you know. There was no choice. One of the most traumatic events in Hawaii's history, likely to stretch on for years, as officials work to manage the monumental task of rebuilding amid a toxic debris field. Alastair Babstock, CGTN, Lahaina, Hawaii.